bright duty every student matters so the second rule is present continuous tense If the sentence in active voice is written in present continuous tense what is the rule to change it to a passive sentence is am are plus being plus the third form of the verb now like i told you earlier in the case of a simple present tense Now we all know that the helping verbs for the simple tense are the same. We have only three helping verbs for the simple tense. So is, am, are. So both simple present as well as the present continuous, the helping verbs remain the same. How to decide which helping verb is going to be used out of them? It depends on the subject. If my subject is singular, we use is. if my subject is plural we use are and if the subject is i then we use am now let us look at some examples rohini is singing a song now the first thing that i have taught you to always do is to divide them my subject is rohini is singing is the verb and a song is the object object becomes the subject so my object is a song which now becomes my new subject subject the original subject is now the object so rohini becomes by rohini and now comes the changing of the verb Now what is my subject in the passive voice it is a song a song is singular or plural it is obviously singular so what am i going to use with a singular subject is so this is done what is the second thing that we have to write being and the third thing becomes the third form of the verb what is my verb sing so the third form of sing is is being sung so sing sang sung the third form is sung so the sentence in passive voice becomes a song is being sung by rohini let us take another example shyam is playing cards again subject sham is playing verb cards object now what happens my object becomes the subject so cards subject becomes the object by sham right now let us change our verb what is my subject now cards and cards is plural So what helping verb am I going to use with cards are then being and what is the third form of my verb playing played So my sentence in passive voice becomes cards are being played by Sham So if I give you another example for example monkey okay So if I say or they are eating bananas let us divide subject they verb are eating bananas object so my object becomes the subject bananas they becomes my object so they changes to them we have already studied this rule of changing the pronouns now let us come to changing the verb bananas is my subject and bananas are plural so what helping verb am i going to use are then being and the third form of the verb eat is 
eaten. So, passive voice of the sentence is bananas are being eaten by them. Alright, so this is the rule for present continuous tense. We will first use the helping verb is, am, are depending upon the subject which is either singular or plural. We then write being with it and at the end we write the third form of the verb. Now the next rule is present perfect tense. Now, what are the helping verbs for perfect tense, for the present perfect tense? We have two helping verbs for the present perfect tense, either has or have. So, the rule is has, have, plus been, plus the third form of the verb. Again, the same thing. What is to be used, whether has is to be used or have is to be used will depend on my subject. Let us talk about the examples now. If I say, I have done the work. So again, my first instruction will always remain the same that divide the sentence into three parts. I is my subject, have done is my object and the work, sorry, have done is my verb and the work is my object. Object becomes the subject, so the work. Subject becomes the object, I changes to me and we add B before it. Now let us move on to changing the verb. What is my subject over here now? The work. Now work is again singular. So what am I going to use? Has or have? I will use has. Then what do I have to add? I have to add been. And third form of the verb. Now, what is the third form of the verb? Do. It is already written. Now, this is the best thing about the perfect tense sentences. In the perfect tense, be it the present perfect tense or when we are going to do the past perfect tense also. Now, in the active voice, the third form of the verb is already written. So, you will not have to think about the third form of the verb. You already have it in your active voice. Okay. So, the work has been done by me. Let us see another example. The or cows have eaten the grass. This is my sentence. The first thing to do. Divide subject, verb, object. Object becomes my subject, so the grass. Subject becomes my object, so cows remains cows and we add by before them. Now let us move on to the verb. Have eaten was my verb. Now what is my new subject now? The grass. What is the grass? Is it singular or plural? It is singular. So, has. What do we write next? Been. And third form of the verb which is already written in the active sentence, eaten. So, my passive voice sentence becomes, the grass has been eaten by cows. Let us talk about another sentence. Hmm. The children have eaten candies. So, the children have eaten candies. First thing, divide subject, verb, object. Object becomes my new subject. So, candies comes at the beginning. The children becomes my object, so it goes at the end. And we write by before my object. 
Now let us move on to the changing of the verb. My new subject is candies. What is candies? Is it singular or plural? It is clearly plural candies. So which helping verb are we going to use with plural? Has or have? We will use have. So candies have. What do we add next? Been. And third form of the verb remains the same. Eaten. So candies have been eaten by the children. So in present perfect tense again my rule is. Changing the subject to object, object to subject, then deciding whether the subject is singular or plural. If it is singular, then we add has plus been plus third form of the verb. And if it is plural, we add have plus been plus third form of the verb. Right? Let us move on to the next rule which is of simple pass. Okay. Now, what is my rule for simple past? What are the helping verbs for simple, for the past tense? Was or were. These are the two helping verbs for past tense. So, was or were plus the third form of the verb. This is my rule for changing an active sentence to a passive sentence. For example, the children stole ice creams. Okay. First thing. So this is subject, verb, object. Object becomes the new subject. So ice creams. Subject becomes my new object. So the children. And we add by before that. Now let us look at the verb. What is my verb? Stole, which is in simple past tense. What do I have to do? I have to first decide whether I will be using was or were. How do we decide? Depending on the subject. Now subject is ice creams, which is plural. So with plural, what are we going to use, dear students? Was or were? We will use were. So ice creams, were. Then third form of the verb. My verb is stole. What are its three forms? Steal, stole, stolen. So the third form, stolen. So ice creams were stolen by them. Becomes the passive voice. Let us look at another example. Monkeys destroyed the house. So, monkeys destroyed the house is my sentence. We divide. Monkey is subject, destroyed is verb, the house is object. Object becomes the new subject, so the house. Subject becomes my new object, so monkey goes at the end. And we add by before it. Destroyed. Now what is my subject in this sentence? The house. The house is singular or plural? It is singular. Which helping verb are we going to use with the house? We will use was. And what do we add next? Third form of the verb which is destroyed only. So destroyed, destroyed and destroyed. So my sentence becomes the house was destroyed by monkey. If I give you another example. Tourists. Visited Taj Mahal. Okay. So, subject, verb, object. Object becomes my subject which is Taj Mahal. Subject becomes my object which is tourists. And we add by before them. Now, let us talk about the verb. 
वॉट इज माई सब्जेक्ट हियर ताजमहल ताजमहल इज सिंगुलर और प्लूरल सिंगुलर वॉट डू वी यूज विद सिंगुलर वॉज ऑफ अ वॉज एंड थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब विजिट इज विजिटेड ओनली विच इज रिटर्न सो माई सेंटेंस इन पैसिव वॉइस बिकम्स ताज महल वॉज विजिटेड बाय so simple past tense we first have to again change subject to object object to subject look at the new subject and find out whether it is plural or singular if it is singular we use was plus the third form of the verb and if it is plural we use were plus third form of the verb okay next rule is past continuous tense now what is my rule for changing a, an active sentence in past continuous tense to a passive sentence again like i told you the helping verbs will remain the same was or were for continuous tense i have to use be and then the third form of the verb we used being when we were talking about the present continuous tense also and here when we are talking about the past continuous tense then also being is written so when continuous tense comes being has to be a part of it let us look at the examples ghosts were dancing or rather if i say my neighbors were planting a tree divide subject verb object object becomes my new subject so a tree subject becomes my new object so my neighbors goes at the end and we have to add by before it now let us talk about changing the verb we first have to decide whether my subject is singular or plural my subject is a tree a tree is singular or plural dear students it is singular so what am i going to use with it was so was then we add being and third form of the word plant what is the third form of plant it is planted so a tree was being planted by my neighbors this is the sentence in passive voice another example they were waiting for him now here again or rather they were waiting or if i write they were eating fruits right subject verb object fruits becomes my new subject and they becomes my new object so it changes to them now what is my subject here fruits fruits is singular or plural it is plural so what am i going to write with fruits will i write was or were i am going to write were then being third form of the verb eat is eaten so my sentence in the passive voice is fruits were being eaten by them the example was my parents are driving or my parents are flying let us take the verb to be flying 
an aeroplane. So divide subject, verb, object. An aeroplane becomes my new subject. And my parents goes at the end as it is the object now. And we add by before it. Now let us change the verb. An aeroplane. Is it singular or plural? It is certainly singular. What do we write with a singular subject? Was. Flying. What is the past tense of flying? Flown. So an aeroplane was flown by my parents. Next. Past perfect tense. Now, what is the rule? When we are talking about past perfect tense, there is only one helping verb that we use in case of past perfect tense, which is had. In perfect tense, we always use been, just the way we used it in simple present, in uh, the present perfect tense. And then comes the third form of the verb. So, let us look at some of the examples. Ram had won the match. So divide subject, verb, object. So object becomes my new subject. So the match Ram, which is my subject, becomes my new object by Ram. And now let us change the verb. The match is my new subject. No matter whether it is singular or plural, we know we only have to add had plus been plus third form of the verb. And as simple as it could be, my sentence is the match had been won by Ram. Another example. My uncle had gifted or had given a new pen. So, subject, verb, object. Object, my new subject, which is a new pen. This becomes my new object, my uncle, and we add by before it. So, by my uncle. Now, again, like I told you, in case of past perfect tense, it does not matter whether your subject is singular and plu or plural because it remains the same, your helping verb. So, a new pen had been given by my uncle. Another sentence, let us see. She had one or she had achieved a star. Divide subject, verb, object. Object becomes my new subject. A star. She becomes my new object. She changes to her. And we add by before it. Had achieved. So a star had been achieved by The simplest transformation is for the past perfect tense. Because your verb remains the same. We only add been. And we change the position of the subject as well as the object. Let us look at another rule now for the future tense. So, for the simple future tense. Now, what is my rule for changing simple future tense? Will plus be 
plus third form of the verb. Very simple again, you do not have to decide whether the subject is singular or plural because you have only one option as the helping verb which is will. So, let us discuss examples. They will play the match. So, they will play the match. What does it become? Divide, subject, verb, object. The match which is the object becomes my new subject. Then they becomes then and we add by before it. Now what do we have to write in place of the verb? Will be and third form of the verb. So the third form of play is played. So, the match will be played by them. Another example. He will write a letter. Divide subject, verb, object. My new subject is a letter. He changes to him. We add by before it. What do we write in place of the verb? Will plus be plus third form of the verb. My verb is right, so it becomes written. So a letter will be written by him. My mother. Will tell a story. So break subject, verb, object. A story becomes my new subject. My mother becomes my new object. And we add by before it. And how do we change the verb? Will then be. And third form of tell is told. So my passive sentence is a story will be told by my mother. Okay. Next rule is for changing future perfect tense. What is the rule for changing to the simple future tense? Will plus have plus been plus third form of the word. So, what do we do now? How do we change an active sentence which is in future perfect tense to a passive sentence? By first writing will, then have, then been and then the third form of the verb which is given. Which is very simple again. Let us take the example. They will have eaten the pizza. Okay. What is my subject? A. Verb. Object. Now how do we change? Object becomes the subject. So the pizza. Ob subject becomes the object which is them and we add by before it. Now how to change the verb? Very simple. Just go by the rule. Now you have to remember all the rules and then it is going to be very easy for you to change the active to the passive one. So the rule says we first write will, then we write have, then we write been. And the third form of the verb which is 
So the pizza will have been eaten by them is my sentence in the passive voice. Let us take another example. She will have taken the pen. Divide subject, verb, object. Then object changes to the new subject, so it is the pen. Subject becomes my new object, so she changes to her and we add by before it. Now let us change my verb. Again the rule, first we add will, have, been, third form of the verb is taken by her. So, my sentence in the passive voice is, the pen will have been taken by a. The next sentence. He will have changed the channel. So, subject, verb. Object. object becomes the subject, so the channel. He becomes him. And we add by before it. And how do we change it? Will have been changed by him. So the sentence in the passive voice becomes the channel will have been changed by him. Next, I forgot about the present, uh, about the future perfect continuous tense. The future continuous tense, so that let us discuss about it. Future continuous tense. Now, this is not very much used, this is not very much in practice, but still we are going to learn about it. So, first let us look at the example. She will be playing badminton. So, she is my subject. Will be playing is my verb. Badminton is my object. Object becomes my new subject. So, badminton comes at the beginning. She becomes her and we add by. And how do we change? What is the helping verb for future tense? Will have plus being plus third form of the verb. So, will have being and third form of playing is played. By her. So, badminton will have been played by her. Now, this is something, the reason why I had actually forgotten about is, is because we do not change a future continuous tense, a sentence, an active sentence in future continuous tense to the perfect tense. Because as we read in case of tenses, the simple Tense and the future tense can be used interchangeably, right? So, the transformation is more favorable in case of a simple tense rather than a future continuous tense. So, this is something which is not asked for in your papers. Now, the next one, the next transformation which is very important is changing the modals. When a sentence is written, there in the active sentence, when there is a modal verb which is written, then how do we change it? We all know what is a modal verb. Can, will, may, might, should and so on and so forth. These are all our modal verbs. Now, how do we change it? Whatever model is used in the active sentence, it remains the same. We add B 
plus the third form of the verb. Similarly, if the model is should, so we write should plus be plus third form of the verb and so on and so forth. So examples, she can control the fight. Divide, subject, verb, object. Object becomes my new subject. The fight and subject becomes my new object by a. Now let us change can control. How did I tell you? How do we tell, change a model verb? Can remains the same. B is added and the verb changes to the third form. So can be controlled by a. Let me give you another example. They should play cricket. So, divide subject, verb, object. Cricket becomes my new subject. They changes to them and we add by before it. Should play changes to should plus be plus the third form of the verb which is play. So the sentence becomes cricket should be played by them. So my dear students, in case of a modal verb, whatever model verb is used in the active sentence, that remains the same, be it can, could, shall, should, may, might, anything. So the model verb remains the same. We add be with it and then we write the third form of the verb alongside. Now the next case that we have is when we do not know. Now this is something important. We do not know the or uh, you know let me say when we do not know the subject in an active sentence. Now what do we mean by not knowing the subject in an active sentence? Subjects like someone Somebody, nobody or let's say in general people. Okay. When subjects like these are used in a sentence, in an active sentence, in changing them to passive sentence, we can omit them. So, these subjects... can be deleted when they become objects in passive sentence. So when these subjects become the objects in the passive sentence, we can actually delete them. Why? Because we don't know them. For example, Someone gave a book. Subject, verb, object. Object becomes the subject, a book. We have now read gave. What is the tense of gave? Simple past. How do we change simple past? Was given. Now in this case, we can or cannot write by someone. Even if we do not write by someone, the sentence is going to be correct that a book was given. 
Similarly, if I give you another example, somebody has stolen my watch. Divide subject, verb, object. My watch becomes my new subject. Now, has stolen, which is the verb. What is the tense of the verb? Present perfect tense. So, how does it change? Has been stolen. Now, writing by somebody is not at all necessary. Why? Because we do not know this object. We don't know who the somebody is. So, in case of such transformations, when we do not know the subject of the active voice sentence, then we can actually omit them when changing the sentences to passive ones. Alright, dear students? Now, whatever rules we've discussed so far are about a simple assertive sentence, a simple statement. How do we change an active voice to a passive voice when the sentence is imperative in nature? Now, what are imperative sentences? Sentences with the help of which we are giving an order to someone. We are making a request to someone. We are giving a suggestion to someone or we are giving an advice to someone. So, such sentences through which we give an order, we make a request, we give a suggestion or an advice, the, such sentences are called imperative sentences. Now, how to change an imperative sentence to a passive voice? The first one, let us talk by about giving an order. Now, how do we change that? We add let plus subject plus B plus the third form of the verb. This is the structure of the whole sentence. For example, close the door. This is my sentence. When I have to change it to the passive sentence, what do I have to do? I first have to write let. What is the subject? What am I talking about? The door. So, I will write my subject which is the door. What do I add next? B. And then the third form of the verb. What is my verb? Close. So, third form of the verb close is closed. So, the passive sentence close the door becomes let the door be closed. Next sentence, talk or rather shut the window. Again, shut is the verb, the window is the subject. How do we change? The first thing we write is let. Then comes my subject. What is my subject? The window. Then we add B and the third form of the verb shut remains shut. So let the window be shut. So active voice shut the window. Passive voice let the window be shut. Next, let us talk about making a request to someone. What is the structure when we make a request? We have to write you are requested to then after to first form of the verb plus subject. This is the structure of a sentence through which we are making a request to someone. You are requested to plus the first form of the verb plus subject. For example, let us use the same examples. Please 
close the door. What do we write? You are requested to. What is the first form of the verb? Close. And what do we have to close? The door. So, everything remains the same, only this please changes to you are requested. Similarly, please give water or please give me water. How do we change? Please changes to you are requested to verb first form. What is my verb? Give. So you are requested to give. Then whatever my subject, what is my subject? Me water. So you are requested to give me water. Next, we have a suggestion. How do we change a suggestion? Subject plus should plus be plus third form of the verb. For example, speak the truth. What is my subject? The truth. What do I have to write next? Should be and third form of the word is speak which becomes spoken. So the truth should be spoken. Next, follow the Traffic rules. Okay. What is my subject? The traffic rules. Should be and follow changes to followed. So the traffic rules should be followed. Next is when we give an advice to somebody. How do we change that? Whatever is the subject, we here take the imaginary subject to be you plus R, then advised plus to and my whatever is the advice that I am giving or I will write whatever is the sentence which is given to you. Now what do I mean by this? If I say work hard, this is my advice. How do I change it? You are advised to what to do? To work hard. So, like I was telling you, what was the sentence? Work hard. So, what does it become? You are requested to work if I give you another example, keep quiet. How do we change it? You are requested to keep quiet. So like this, we change our imperatives. A request, advice, suggestion, order to the passive sentences. 
Next and the last, we move on to changing the interrogative sentences. Now, what do we mean by interrogative sentences? Those sentences which have a question mark at the end, which ask a question from somebody. For example, now how do we change these? Who changes to by whom? And whom changes to who? How many, or rather by, how many changes to by how many? So we have to add by before the question word. For example, who helps you? This is the question. You is my subject, this is my verb and this is my question verb. Like I told you, who changes to? By whom? Helps. Now the rules of changing the verb are going to remain the same. Helps is in simple present tense. So helps changes to? Are. Helps. So, by whom are you helped? Question. Similarly, if I say, this was the answer. So, the second question, if I give you the example. How many people attended the party? How many changes to by how many? By how many people attended is my verb which is in past tense, simple past tense. How do we change a verb in simple past tense? Was plus the third form of the verb. So by how many people was the party attended? Who is hitting or who is disturbing you? Who changes to by whom is disturbing is present continuous tense. Present continuous tense, how will it change? By whom are you being disturbed? Question. So, my dear students, with this we come to the end of our grammar topic, voice. We first studied about what is an active voice and what is a passive voice. I introduced you with the basic structure of a sentence and how it is very, very important to break a sentence into subject, verb and object. Then the first rule, changing the subject to the object and object to the subject. I told you about the changes that will come over in the pronouns. The pronouns in active voice, what are they going to become in the passive voice? And then we studied about the rules for changing the verb. How will a tense, how will a simple present tense, simple past tense, future tense change from active to passive? Then we also talked about changing the modals. We talked about subjects like someone, somebody, nobody, people. How we are supposed to remove them when they become passive. I taught you about the imperative sentences, what are imperative sentences and how do we change each type, order, advice, suggestion and request. Then at the end we studied about the interrogative sentences and how do we change an interrogative active sentence to an interrogative passive sentence 
And with this, my dear students, we come to the end of this uh, topic and I really hope you have understood it well.